Hey, welcome to Geekamag and today we're gonna talk about Cospector and everything that you should know about the operating system. Cospector is basically a modded and debloated version of Windows. The primary use case is to increase performance by reducing the number of processes that the operating system performs. Now, Cospector comes in a lot of variations. The compact version is just Windows 11 with all of the bloatware removed. While the super light version is also deep loaded, it comes with some tweaked system registries, services and settings to offer better performance. The super light SE on the other hand is just like super light but with extra features and patches like start all back which is a tool that can help you customize certain elements of your windows UI. Also note that these versions of Cospector can be paired with or without Windows Defender. There's also a question about how safe is Cospector. Well, this one is a little complicated to answer. It definitely strips out a lot of Windows security features and certain things might not work properly or at all after installing the operating system. It's a modded ISO, so you don't really know what's happening behind the hood. But a lot of people have downloaded, trusted it and use it as their daily driver. I believe that if you're getting the version with Windows Defender, you do not download files from shady websites and be a good boy on the internet, you should be fairly safe with Go Spectre. It's also worth noting that Microsoft does not allow the distribution of modded Windows ISOs. So try everything at your own risk. But before proceeding with the installation, I'd like to suggest that you try running the operating system on a secondary machine or a virtual machine first. These are modded unofficial ISOs, so no matter how popular they are, there is always some risk associated with them. Try it out in a safe environment first and then install it on your main system if you like it. Now to install GoSpectre, go to the link in the description to reach the official GoSpectre forum. Here scroll down to find the latest release of the OS. Currently update 13 is the latest. Click download and click download once more to reach this page. Here, click any one of the first two links to get the ISO. Download this to your system. Once the file is downloaded, let's extract it by right-clicking, show more options and select 7-zip. Open archive and then press extract on the top left. If the file asks for a password, you can find it on the official YouTube channel of GoSpectre. The link for it is in the description and the password for update 13 is on your screen. If you do not have 7-zip installed, you can do that by searching for it in your browser and downloading it from the official website. Ok, now that the ISO file has been extracted, let's create a bootable USB flash drive. For this, you need to have a USB flash drive. 16 GB is preferred, however, you can get away with an 8 GB stick as well. To create a bootable flash drive, we need to search for a software named Rufus. Go to the official site and download the compatible version. Install the exe file and open the app to reach the screen. Here, select the USB drive as the device and in the boot selection, look for disk or ISO image option. Then, go to the select button and find the GoSpectre ISO file that we just extracted. Keep the system target to UEFI, non-CSM and partition scheme to GPT. Now if you face issues in the further steps of the process, you can come back to the screen and change the target system to BIOS, UEFI, CSM and the partition scheme to MBR. However, for most users, the original settings should work fine. Once you're done with all of that, go to the start button at the bottom and click it. Now this could take some time, but when it's done, close the program and your bootable flash drive is ready. This is the time where you back up all your important files as you're going to be installing a new operating system. Once that is done and the USB stick is connected to the PC, restart your system. But before we get to that, we are trying to hit 10k subscribers on YouTube. So if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now when the PC boots up, you'll find the motherboard logo and at the bottom, you'll see the keys to enter your boot menu. In my case, it's F12, but for your motherboard, this could be different. Click the key for your boot menu repeatedly until you reach a screen that looks something similar. Here, select the bootable USB stick as the boot device. Now, you should reach the GoSpectre setup screen. Click on the Windows icon to start the setup. 
At this point, you'll most likely get a prompt to select your preferred Ghost Spectre build. I chose the compact build without Windows Defender. But for most users, getting Defender will be the best choice. Here, you can also choose between compact, super light, and super light SE versions of the OS. Choose the one that fits your needs better. Follow all the on screen commands, and the installation should take somewhere around 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your drive speeds. The PC will also restart a couple of times before it's all set up. Once you're done, you'll get this cool Ghost Spectre animation. After getting into the OS, the first thing that I checked out is this interesting and handy feature named Ghost Toolbar. This is essentially a list of features, apps, tweaks and firmware that you can toggle or install onto your system with just a few clicks. Let's say I want to install the Brave browser. I'll find the serial number for that tool, type it at the bottom and press enter. Select the version, enter and it will automatically install it onto my system. Another thing that is fascinating is how bloat-free and clean this version of Windows is. As you can see, there is almost nothing here in the app folders. Here's what various system elements like settings, file manager and task manager look like. As you can see, the resources used are already fairly low. Let us know your thoughts about Ghost Spectre in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.